people in this video let us look at the differences uh, in the treatment of uh, Crohn's and ulcerative so basically how will you do the treatment for these conditions okay so look at the last point here management so management of um, Crohn's let's first look at management of Crohn's so Crohn's basically will have skip lesions isn't it so as there will be skip lesions in Crohn's so just look at the Crohn's image here now because there are skip lesions here um, you cannot remove them because it's not continuous okay so basically you'll have to just manage this you'll have to give this person glucocorticoids that is you'll give steroids and then you will give azathioprine methotrexate these are what azathioprine methotrexate all immunomodulators isn't it these are immunomodulators you remember so these are actually immunosuppressants you have seen this in uh, <coughs> damards actually so this is basically Immunosuppressants, methotrexate and azathioprine are me immunosuppressants. Let's add that information here. So, this is uh, these are immunosuppressants. Then you can give uh, anti-TNF, uh, that is tumor necrosis factor and anti-integrin, alpha 4, beta 7 integrin. So, basically all these are inflammatory things, right? It is uh, You're putting all anti-inflammatory things here. Okay, and then uh, nutritional therapy so that their bubble uh, can process all that. Smoking, they should stop and then uh, guys, are you understanding? They should stop smoking. We are here. Look at this. Then uh, for uh, the, you cannot do surgery because there are skip lesions here. So, so uh, surgery for complications is not curative. Only for complications, they are doing some surgery not to cure anything. And this 5 amino salicylic acid is not effective. Okay. So, that's what you have to understand here. The only thing you can do for Crohn's is just palliative kind of a thing. Uh, you know, give them uh, immunosuppressants, uh, anti-inflammatory stuff, steroids, etc. That's all you can do here, okay? And you can do surgery for complications. So, did you understand the treatment of Crohn's? Now, let's move to the treatment of ulcerative. See, ulcerative is better. Why is it better? Because uh, in ulcerative, what happens, you have, um, uh, it's a continuous section and it is superficial, okay? So, you can actually work on this much better. So, look at this. Uh, what does, what is the treatment for ulcerative colitis? Let's look at it. Now, do you know where we are, guys? Here this part of it wait this part of it which is the treatment for ulcerative colitis here see ulcerative colitis you can use a drug that is 5 asa that is 5 amino salicylic acid okay it is 5 amino salicylic acid this is salicylic acid that means what it is an nsaid kind of a thing anti-inflammatory basically they are saying it is anti-inflammatory salicylic acid guys anti-inflammatory don't uh, write anything else. Mesalamine, misalamine, misalamine is the name of the drug. Misalamine or 5-ASA. So basically, it will reduce the inflammation by the inhibition of cyclooxygenase and prostaglandin production. Nothing but your NSAID sounds like, okay. Then uh, you can give the same standard treatment as your Crohn's. What was the same standard treatment of your Crohn's? Come on. Glucocorticoids, steroids such as azathioprine. Here they didn't write methotrexate. They wrote azathioprine, which is an immunosuppressant. Then you have anti-tumor necrosis factor, anti-alpha 4 beta 7 integrin. And here you can do colectomy uh, is curative. Why? Because it is continuous, right? So you can remove this portion and the person can enjoy his life. Because it is continuous, so you can work on it, okay? So this is all about the treatment of Crohn's and ulcerative. So, did you understand people? So, 5SA, where will you, where will 5SA work? 5ASA, uh, for, that is mesalamine, it will work in uh, ulcerative, okay, but it will not work for Crohn's.